afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Joe with Joe Knows Cigars. Starting the month of May off right with Padron Month. Can't hardly wait. First time I'm doing Padron Month. As we all know, Padron, the gold standard in cigar making, cigar manufacturing. They are the king. They grow their own tobacco. They own their own tobacco. They make their own cigars and they distribute worldwide to only the most distinguished cigar palettes like you and I. So we're going to start off with one that is a perennial favorite for me and just about any other Padron lover, and that is the Padron 1926 series, the number one, which is the Churchill. This is the natural version as opposed to the Maduro, obviously a Nicaraguan Pearl. Almost all of Padron stuff is going to be Nicaraguan Puro cigars, with the exception of a select few. Uh, and this one is one of their most highest rated. This blend, while not the same Vitola, but this blend scored an unheard of 97 points on Cigar Aficionado, unbelievable. That was the number, I think, nine, which is the Robusto. This is the number one, which is the Churchill. So let's dive right in. This is a very, very nice, somewhat ruddy looking cigar. You can see veins, but they're very flat. You can see the seams, but they're very flush. It is a very nice looking box press cigar. It's got that very earthy looking quality to it. This one feels like velvet. That does not have much tooth to it. Aside from it just being the number 1926, the number one, this is one that I've had in my humidor for two years. So it should be primed and ready to go. This blend, as I'm sure many of you know already, the blend is already aged a minimum of five to 10 years before it's even sent out anyway. So this is going to be a very, very well aged stick. Three light aromas. We've got faint light coffee with cream, some nutty earth, sweet natural tobacco, faint barnyard, mm, and some light dried fruit off of the foot. Uh, this is one of the few cigars I actually see where it's just a single cap on the top, so I'm going to use just the V cutter so I don't mess up the cap. Uh, so let's get this one cut, toasted, see what we can find out. Right away, absolutely perfect draw, great smoke output. The flavors are quite full, but the body is only about a medium at this point. Incredibly smooth. Right now we're getting a plethora, a sort of an oaky, noty, <laughs> oaky and nutty sort of uh, flavor profile. The nuts, it reminded me a lot of like cashews and pecans. It's a very, very long nutty finish. There's a hint of spice in there. I guess it's, it's a black pepper spice, but it's not particularly biting or coarse. It's a very smooth black pepper, lots of oak, lots of nuts. I'm really liking it so far. All right, let this go a little bit further until I get a little further into the first third. I will see you then. All right, we're about 10 minutes in, well into the first third. Burn is nearly flawless. It's a little slanted, but far from ever needing to reach for the lighter at this point. A very beautiful looking salad white ash, absolutely no flakes in there whatsoever. And the flavors have just picked up in a huge way. We're getting kind of a nougat, we're getting a chocolate covered almond, we're getting hints of barnyard and sweet light roast coffee with cream. Still getting plenty of, and now the nutty, the nuttiness is still there, but it's now more of a roasted nut. You can really taste the um, lightly charred nuttiness that's coming through here. And we're still getting plenty of oak. There is so much layering going on through here. You'll get little bits of something, the first puff, and then something else will come through the second puff. And the retrohale, that's where you start to get most of your spice. It's kind of shifted now from more of a white pepper as opposed to a black pepper, and you're getting a lot more oak on the retrohale as well. The finish is very long, very smooth, and it sits there on your palate well after you've blown out the smoke, and it just lingers, and you can just ruminate on all the flavors that are going on well after you've blown out the smoke. Really, really enjoyable. I really like this stick so far. We're gonna let this go until I get about halfway through. I will see you then. All right, we are 40 minutes in. 
almost halfway through this stick. Ash and burn, as you can tell, are phenomenal. Still a nice white solid ash. A little flakier now in the second third, and it's only ashed one time. I'm gonna go ahead and ash it now because I just think this is going to go. There we go. Flavors have been phenomenally good. We have kind of a earthy Sumatran coffee with cream. We're getting hazelnut, we're getting milk chocolate, we're getting nougat, we're getting almond, and we're getting hints of baking spice. And then on the retrohale, still getting white pepper, still getting oak, a little bit of cedar, and also getting some bright citrus zest in there as well. Really, really layered amounts of flavors on here. The body, even from the start, was never full. It was more of a medium. It had kind of a whipped, frothy cocoa sort of uh, smoke texture to it, but the flavors are nice and full. So full flavored, maybe more of a medium body at this point. I don't know if it would be a, any different. I never actually smoked one of the 26s um, younger than a year. I had them in my humidor. I smoked most of them after the first year was over, and this one, like I said, is two years. So maybe it would have had a fuller body if it was a little younger, don't know. All I know is right now, this is just fantastic, and I love it. All right, I'll catch up with you as I get to just about the end of the stick, and we'll see you then. All right, hour and 40 minutes in, well into the final third. As you can see, burn and ash, still exemplary. I was annoyed though because I had a really good two and a half inch long chunk after that last segment and it fell off on my lap just as I was getting ready to go film a burn update. So I had to do a, a little less of an impressive burn update before this segment. I'm not too disappointed though. All right, the flavors still very, very good. There hasn't been a whole lot of newly added flavors in this final third. It's just been more of a, an intense experience from what I've been getting in the second third. So we're getting, now it's like a hot cocoa, uh, a creamy hot cocoa with a little bit of hazelnut. I'm still getting lots of milk chocolate, lots of almond. Um, the oak has died down. I'm getting more of a cedar note and I'm still getting hints of baking spice. And then the retro hell. Still white pepper, orange zest, cedar, and hints of charred almond. And I'm also getting kind of a burnt sugar flavor on the draw and on the retrohale. The finish on this one is so smooth and so long lasting. You are just, you're able to ponder these flavor notes well after you've draw, uh, taken a draw. It's, it's just incredible. The finish is almost as enjoyable as the draw itself and you're just left with just this wonderful sensation of all of these flavors coming together. And uh, it's super layered, super deep, and still medium bodied, sort of a fluffy medium body texture, and the flavors are still full. The smoke temperature is just now starting to get a little warm, so I only have about maybe five minutes left on this one, who knows. Uh, really, really special cigar. Uh, really have enjoyed this one from start to finish and I will just can't wait to smoke another one of these in the future time to give this one a final score as I said already the construction the burn performance on this cigar is fantastic I love the smoke texture I obviously love the flavors and a pretty good smoke time too this is the easiest five puff cigar I have given to any cigar that I have smoked. This is quite possibly the best cigar I've had so far this year, and definitely in my top 10 all time. Again, this has been aged two years after I bought it, before I smoked it. Don't know if that adds anything as far as the intensity of the flavors or the smoothness of the smoke texture. All I know is this is fantastic. I loved it. Loved it every single bit of this cigar was so super enjoyable and I got to get some more of these too bad they're like $23 a stick uh, but I will definitely buy more in the future because yes they are worth it I know a lot of people see 
twenty dollars plus on a cigar label and that's the sticker shock is overwhelming i'm telling you if you get super into cigars this will be a no-brainer you're gonna spend some money to buy a bunch of these because they are just so good find a good uh, special occasion to have an excuse to smoke one of these because these are great well thanks so much for joining me for the first of padrone month we got a whole month of cigar reviews with padrone still coming and i think this is a pretty good way to start it so uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit the icon, bottom right corner of the screen. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notifications every time I release a new review or any other review or any other video, rather, for the channel. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram, at Jono Cigars, to look at all the other written reviews that I haven't had time to do full video reviews on. Quite a few cigar reviews on Instagram, and they're also on Facebook. Uh, so check out uh, Jono Cigars on Facebook as well. And if you feel so inclined to support this channel, it would mean a lot to me. Head over to the Smoke a Good One shop, link in the comments below. Uh, that'll take you to the site that has all the merchandise that I designed. Things like the Smoke a Good One t-shirt and numerous other shirts and coffee mugs and phone cases and the like. So head on over to Smoke a Good One shop if you'd like to support Jono Cigars on YouTube. And until next time, everybody, Smoke a Good One. Hey, thanks for watching Jono Cigars. If you like this cigar video and all things cigars in general, you might want to click on this head right here to subscribe to my channel and get notifications every time I release a new review or any other video for that matter. And if you like this video, probably like this one that YouTube randomly picked out for you. Yeah, check that one out.